showed it to a few people who were involved in book selling and things like that, and there was no enthusiasm. Too short. Um, it was set in Dublin, so it wouldn't really sell anywhere. Too many, you know, too many swear words. All sorts of reasons why it wouldn't. So I just f said to myself, ah, fuck it, I'll, I'll do it myself. Found out you could publish the book, you could get the printing costs, etc. Much the same as you'd spend on a second-hand car. So we set up a meeting in my bank, Bank of Ireland in Rohini. If I'd gone in asking for a, a loan for a car, I'd have got the money there and then. But because I wanted to publish a book, we had to write a business plan. Um, it was a much more impressive piece of fiction than the novel ever was, and we got the money. A friend of ours designed the cover, students of mine uh, were on the cover, posing as the band. Friends proofread it. My wife was the publicist, and that's how I met her. And I found out, either directly or indirectly, that a lot of the music press people just didn't like the book. I think they felt that I was invading their space somehow. I'm not sure. But then Elvis Costello, who lived here at the time, wrote an article in the hot press and said, if you want to know what it was like being in a band when I was a kid, just read the commitments. 